Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Master Uthar won't allow us to dig with lasers or sonics. We have to use hand tools only so we don't accidentally destroy anything we run across. That makes progress very slow, however. Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs, but Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. Definitely dangerous. Most of the students who go inside them don't come back out. Master Uthar prefers it that way. There's four tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were ancient Sith lords. That's the first tomb on the right. There's a rumor that there's a powerful artifact still in there, but nobody's retrieved it yet. That tomb supposedly has ancient battle droids and traps that are still functioning. It's amazing that their power sources have lasted so long, really. That's the farthest tomb on the right. We don't know much about Tulak Horde, unfortunately. The Takata have a nest in that tomb, I think. A local pack animal that's very dangerous. Occasionally the guards track down a queen and kill it. That usually pacifies them for a bit. That's the first tomb on the left. Someone mentioned that a crazy droid has holed itself up in there, but I don't know much about that. It's the second tomb on the left when you enter the valley. Nagasato was the leader of the old Sith Masters here, we think. Darth Malak found something in there a while back, however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. All right, just be careful if you head into any of those tombs. One has to wonder what made the Sith leave this. Sorry, I can't talk. We have to excavate this valley with hand instruments. Work. Oh, hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Galen Lor, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajanta Paul. Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. According to legend, Ajunta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous.
From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Well, a few of the bolder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. Of course, don't let me keep you from your business. again a human do I know you it seems as if we have met before I 
do. And yet I do not. The force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul, oh, it has been so very long. I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. Ancient. Has it been so long that you use the word ancient? I have been here so long, so lost, I cannot, cannot remember. We were the first, the first to rebel, to betray, to surrender ourselves to the dark side. So strong, we thought, so wrong. Our Jedi Masters, those who had taught us to use the Force, who warned us against the Dark Side, yet we embraced it in secret, reveled in its power. We were... discovered? Or did we act? I can no longer remember. But here is where we came, to hide, to grow. And here we fell. Our temple, our tomb, built far from our enemies. We revered power and threw off the teachings of our old masters. It, we were not the first to fall to the dark side, but we had more power than those before us. It came from elsewhere. Our oldest secret, only, only we would know. We lords, only we would know where our power came from. I cannot, human. It is a secret of so long ago, I no longer remember. You who bristle with the Force, you must find this place. Or have you? Or did you? Or will you? Oh, so many images. I... See your dark heart, human. Dark as mine was. Proud as mine was. You, you will find the old place and you will regret it. So much power. It is blinding. I remember so little. not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally our fortress rained down on top of us. I suppose that's the nature of the dark side. Power, but no longevity. Eventually it just consumes itself. And so, here, our old secret is buried. And none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do, do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? So much, so much time has passed. And yet we have learned nothing, nothing. Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse, as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead, and I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. 
Of course you do. You seek my power. Will it destroy you? As it did me. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. Then you shall not leave this place. I have power still. I can still command. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my soul. But it has been so long. I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. Then you must die. This is how it must be. I do remember one thing of my soul. Listen to me carefully. I am that which grips the heart in fright. Hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my soul long, long ago. Go then, find my soul and place it on the statue. Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. Do not, do not say such things. I still have power. Go, go from my ancient tomb. Then feel my power. You shall die here with me. I saw you come in here, and I rather figured you'd make it all the way to the sarcophagus. Good to see I wasn't wrong. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of Ajunt Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. You wouldn't have considered, oh, I don't know, getting it yourself? Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden, after all. Nice try. I may not know what the sword looks like, but I'm no gullible fool. I'm not about to pass up a chance to impress Master Uther. I may like you well enough, but being a Sith is all about taking chances when the moment is right. So make it easier on both of us. Hand over the sword.
Need to do things the hard way, eh? Fine by me. Thank <laughs> you.